Hey guys, Serfox now and oh here and welcome to Tech with Saber yet again. Guys, today we are going to be reviewing the Sadie's Luna Gaming Headsets. Guys, Luna stands for Moon and this headset will definitely guide you through the night. But guys, let's get straight on into it. When we look at this design, you can see it has a nice little blue because obviously Sadie's does kind of have a blue theme to it. It has a very nice little sharp edge theme, uh, design to it. Very comfortable with the leather kind of cushion um, on its sides for the ears. At the top is also kind of like a three padding system which kind of works pretty well. As you can see with the microphone there, it basically folds up. It also is able to bend forward and to compensate for how you want to use it. It also actually lights up if you use the mute button with a little red light. So it's kind of like a nice add-on feature on there, though you can't really see the outside, but people can see you muted your mic. It's also, like I said, very traditional with the designs, most of them. You can see the little control area there, which is also very traditional. This microphone and headset based all together is quite a nice elegant design. You can also set the lighting to three settings, static, um, breathing, and then no lights at all. So yeah, this is it's one of the weird common designs when it comes to the Sadie's designs so far, but it actually works pretty well. These are small compact headphones that work pretty well. One thing obviously you would want to hear is the microphone quality and that is gonna happen right next. Just listen to this. This is a microphone test of the Sadie's Luna gaming headsets. I repeat, this is a microphone test of the Sadie's Luna gaming headset. Now that we got that out of the way, let's quickly talk about the specifications about this headset. The sensitivity is 95 dB. The frequency range is 20 to 20 Hz and also it is a USB plug-in. When it also comes to the microphone, the sensitivity is 46 dB, the frequency range is 50 to 10 dB and then also the cable length is approximately 2.2 mm which is very standard in Sadie's designs. Now when I tested this headphone, I actually just played around with Battlefield 1's campaign to start. You know, as you can see in this video, I actually just ran, just did a little run and gun, shot the shit out of everything, you know, get a feel of it. The explosions were quite nice. Gunshots were there, as you can see the AI was pretty shit on this game when it came to the campaign. But we're not here about that, we're here about the microphone. Uh, sorry, we're here for the headphone. It was actually very nicely designed with this. The sound was quite there, but not quite there. So it was a very a decent amount of sound quality, as I can say myself. And also then like I said, the comfortability on this, I have been using this quite often. I actually use it at my work when I listen to music and everything. So for long durations of time, I actually wear this and it is very comfortable. I am not gonna lie about that. And then also the quality of the mic, you have that yourself. And then overall with the design, it is quite sexy design, I might say so myself, but yes. But guys, thank you so much for joining me. This is Serifox910 on Tech with Saber. This video was made possible by Gamer Gadgets and Sadies South Africa. Give them a like, a shout out and all those things. Links will be in the description along with my Facebook and Twitter. Also guys, do leave me a subscribe if you want to get more content on reviews and anything like that. More obviously to come. But guys, as always, thank you so much.